हेलो एवरीवन आई राजेश कनवाड़िया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम शंकरा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पल्स कोड मॉडुलेशन सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग पल्स कोड मॉडुलेशन फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्वांटाइजेशन सो वॉट इज क्वांटाइजेशन सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सैम्पलिंग एंड बेसिकली सैम्पलिंग कन्वर्ट अ कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिग्नल इन टू डिस्क्रेट सिग्नल एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिस्क्रेट सिग्नल मीन्स टाइम एक्सिस आर डिवाइडेड इन टू नंबर ऑफ टाइम इंटरवल्स मीन्स आर कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू एक्स ऑफ एन टी एस मीन्स दिस टाइम एक्सिस दट इज स्मॉल टी आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू नंबर ऑफ टाइम इंटरवल्स दिस इज नोटेड बाई एंड इन टू टी ऑफ एस सो डेट इज सैम्पलिंग बट इन डेट केस और इन डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल कंटिन्यूस एम्पलीट्यूड एक्सिस आर रिमेन कंटिन्यूस डेट्स वाई डेट इज कॉल्ड डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल सो In quantization, we convert, we divide that continuous amplitude signal into number of amplitude levels or number of amplitude discrete levels. So, I will explain you what is quantization. So, quantization is a process that convert a continuous amplitude signal into a discrete amplitude signal by dividing this amplitude axis into several uniformly spaced or non-uniformly spaced amplitude levels, which is called quantization. so in this diagram in vertical direction solid line is indicate transition levels this is noted by l0 l1 up to l7 and dotted line in red ink is noted by q0 q1 up to q7 is called quantization level and a continuous time signal or message signal which is noted by m of t now when we apply quantization so according to quantization our message signal are first in transition level l1 so at the same time our quantization level remain constant which is noted by q1 when message signal are changes their transition level from l1 to l0 so at the same time our quantization level are changes from q1 to q0 when quantization level remain constant in q0 for transition level l0 when message signal are change or move transition level from l0 to l1 so at the same time our quantization level changes to q0 to q1 and when message signal is move from l1 to l2 so at the same time our quantization level changes to q1 to q2 so in such a way that this continuous amplitude signal are divided into number of discrete amplitude levels which is generated by by using this staircase signal in red ink so this staircase signal or step signal have a step size and that step size is called del or denoted by del now this continuous amplitude signal have minimum amplitude value that is v of l and maximum value of v of h and transition level or total number of quantization level is l so in that case what is the formula of step size so formula of step size del is equal to v of h minus v of a upon capital l where del is step size v of h is highest amplitude value v of l is lowest amplitude value and capital l is number of quantization level now classification of quantization so quantization is mainly two types first one is uniform quantization and second one is non uniform quantization so in case of uniform quantization step size is constant but in case of non uniform quantization the step size are variable and that is vary according to input signal value now uniform quantization are again classified in two types first one is mid trade type uniform quantization and second one is mid rise type uniform quantization so these are the example or graphical representation of mid trade type uniform quantization and mid rise type uniform quantization in mid trade type of uniform quantization the origin is lie in the middle of the trade part of the staircase signal or in case of mid rise type uniform quantization the origin is lies in the middle part of a rising part of the staircase signal so these are the difference between mid rise type or mid trade type uniform quantization after that quantization we have discussed we will discuss about pulse code modulation so what is pulse code modulation it is a digital pulse modulation technique but it is not a modulation technique because it is basically a converter which is convert 
a continuous time signal into a binary coded form means in binary one or zero form and that binary symbols will be represented by a constant pulses of constant amplitude constant width and constant position now this pulse code modulation have mainly three part first one is transmitter second is transmission path third is receiver pcm output is in the coded digital form it is in the form of digital pulses of constant amplitude constant width and constant position the information is transmitted in the form of code word now basic building block of pcm system so mainly it have three part pcm transmitter transmission path and receiver so in pcm transmitter first is low pass filter sampler quantizer and then after encoder so these are the basic block diagram for pcm transmitter in pcm transmission path we use number of regenerator circuit or number of repeater and in case of receiver first is repeater say after repeater we use decoder after decoder we use reconstruction filter and finally destination so these are the basic building blocks of pcm system so in detail first we discuss pcm transmitter so pcm generator or pcm transmitter so these it is the basic block diagram for pcm transmitter so x of t is continuous time signal or message signal so first this message signal will passes through a low pass filter and this low pass filter have cut off frequency that is f of m f of c is cut off frequency and this cut off frequency is equal to f of m and what is f of m is maximum frequency which are present in the signal so what is the meaning of this cut off frequency means this message signal are passes through this low pass filter which have cut off frequency is equal to fm that is highest cut off frequency means all the frequency component below this frequency or below this cut off frequency will passes through this low pass filter and all the frequency component above this frequency will be blocked by this low pass filter so finally output of this low pass filter is message signal or continuous time signal which have highest cut off frequency that is fm then output of this low pass filter will passes through sample and hold circuit so output of this sample and hold circuit is noted by x of nts means our continuous time signal are convert into discrete signal means time axis are divided into number of time instant or number of time intervals so output of this sample and hold circuit will passes through q level quantizer so what is the role of this q level quantizer it is convert this sample signal into quantized signal so this quantized signal is noted by x q n t s then output of this q level quantizer will passes through binary encoder so this binary encoder convert this quantized signal into n digit so so block from this sampled and whole circuit to binary encoder is called analog to digital converter then output of this binary encoder will passes through parallel to serial converter and for this conversion we use shift register so due to this converter all these and digits are convert into a single bit stream or into a serial bit stream so output of this parallel to serial converter s is equal to n into f of s now in this diagram we use a sampling frequency which is noted by and which is noted by this f of s which is greater than equal to 2 fm and it is generated by an oscillator and output of this sampling frequency will passes through this sampled and whole circuit and this parallel to serial converter by using a timer so this is about pcm transmitter or pcm generator after pcm transmitter we use pcm transmission path so first what is the pcm transmission path path between pcm transmitter and pcm receiver is called pcm transmission path so in pcm transmission path we use number of regenerator or number of repeater so what is regenerator or repeater repeater is basically combination of two device first is equalizer and second one is decision making device so it is example or graphical representation for pcm transmission path and above which is showing a distorted pcm signal and this distortion are occur in transmission now when this distorted pcm signal will passes through our repeater so in repeater which is basically a combination of equalizer and decision making device so what is the role of this equalizer equalizer equalize the amplitude of this distorted pcm signal and decision making device 
by using this decision making device we find out what is the value which is transmitted that is either binary 1 or binary 0 means if pulse have amplitude value is low so in that case transmitted bit is binary 0 and when pulse have highest amplitude value that is 1 so we can say transmitted bit is binary 1 so in such a way that repeater or regenerator circuit converted distorted PCM into clean PCM signal after PCM transmission path we use PCM receiver so it is a basic block diagram for PCM receiver so PCM noisy signal first passes through a repeater so repeater is combination of equalizer and decision making device so it convert this noisy PCM signal into clean PCM signal then after repeater we use serial to parallel converter again for this converter we use shift register so this PCM are convert into n parallel digits then after this converter we use digital to analog converter so this digital signal are convert into analog signal after this converter we use sampled and whole circuit and output of this sampled and whole circuit is noted by x of nts and output of this whole circuit will passes through a low pass filter again this low pass filter have cutoff frequency f of c is equal to f of m so finally output of this low pass filter is a continuous time signal or input signal or message signal which is noted by small x of t now again we use a sampling frequency which is generated by an oscillator and this sampling frequency will apply to this regenerator or repeater serial to parallel converter and sampled and whole circuit by using this timer now this is output of low pass filter so sample signal will pass us through low pass filter and this dotted line is indicate output of this low pass filter which is a continuous time signal x of t so this is about pulse code modulation so today we stop here okay thank you